What's up? This is Squash2440. We're following Slater 17 live stream. Today we'll be here on the Square Farms map, and this will be the first live stream and the first farming ever done here on this map, which will be very exciting. The goal of today will be to seed a variety of fields, but to do that, we did uh, prepare and kind of set up the farm yesterday. You guys showed a ton of support on that. I really do appreciate it, but we have to go get some seed pallets in the town so we'll be coming over here to our 2004 Chevy a 3500 regular cab dually and we'll be attaching to the 40 foot PJ we'll be going into the town and we'll be using their bobcat to kind of load some seed pallets and some fertilizer pallets up and then when we come back we'll be hopping in that phantom 2 drone and we'll be taking a look at the fields that we'll be doing today which will be nice a very cool aerial view today is going to be over Oh, very exciting day here on the farm very busy and if you guys show a ton of support on this I will be adding a second day for just streaming farming I think that would be a pretty cool thing to do just have a day here on the channel where I am streaming I thought I was on the Xbox yes I thought it would be too but my Xbox is crashing every time I do play farming sim for more than 20 minutes uh, during streaming when I'm not streaming my Xbox run fine but when I'm streaming the Xbox struggles and I'm not sure exactly what's happening so until I work out those bugs we'll be here on the PC which is the main platform I I play on as you guys can see we just left the farm and we have been around to the uh, town over here which is pretty cool now this PJ trailer is a bit interesting looks awesome but the collisions on the back of this trailer really do not do well uh, going on some of the roads even on different maps there is a bit of a trouble So when we get over here to the store, we'll be using the Bobcat S770 with a pallet fork attachment and we'll be loading all of them here. I believe it's just around 6 pallets, which is quite a lot. And then we'll be heading back to the farm. And I think time-wise, we might only unload the ones needed or we might just keep them on the trailer, drive the cedar up close. I will really have to depend on the amount of time. But we'll be streaming for just around 30, 35 to 40 minutes. So it's going to be a pretty nice long stream for all of you guys today and you guys can see we have arrived here at the uh you guys can see morgan's mass and motors they also do sell these which is nice and i will be trying to be a little bit more realistic but i think that this is pretty realistic that you do have to go pick up the seed pallets that you will be seeding so that's kind of why i wanted to start off over here loading up these pallets just for realism wise Welcome out to the stream if you guys are stopping by for the first time. You guys can see that we do have Super Duty here in the chats. I do recommend you go over and give him a follow and some likes on his videos. He's partnered up with me to make some pretty cool ones and I'm very excited for that. When will you be saying our names? During the stream I will be shouting you guys out. Every five minutes we'll be doing uh, subscriber shouts. And I, earlier today, during the first video of today, which was delivering police cars, I do recommend you go check that out. I did ask if you guys would like me to release a version 2 of this, or just kind of uh, keep it and release a bigger version, better version, and you guys wanted a version as soon as possible. So yes, I will be giving you guys version 1 first week of May, but I mean version 2 will be incredible. Big game changer. You guys won't even recognize the map, and I mean that's going to be pretty epic. I will be keeping it a surprise. So I do not want to kind of uh, ruin the surprise, but it's going to be a big game changer. Hope you guys are excited for it. I wish that I could hold it, but like I was saying, delaying it a week, uh, one uh, week or even a month extra, I don't think will be the best thing to do. So that's why I will be doing it as version two. I do appreciate all of you guys for subscribing and supporting the channel. It's a ton of fun uploading daily to YouTube. I really do enjoy doing it. Overall, you guys have been awesome fans, and I just enjoy doing it. And I do have some future mod releases here in the works, so stay tuned for that. Along with that map, I will be releasing some pretty cool equipment very soon, and possibly some trucks also. So hope you guys are very excited for all of those. Take a look at that, guys. We got... Uh, this uh, all three uh, liquid fertilizers loaded up. Up next, we'll be kind of coming over here. Let's see. I, I want to kind of back up and reposition it because I don't want to have to drive around the truck every time to load these on. 
I believe that this truck does have a plow attachment, which is pretty cool, which means we will be having to add a uh, plow inside our garage, which will be pretty cool. But as you guys can see, what I'm doing right now is just repositioning the truck and trailer. I don't want to have to drive around the truck every time, and just moving it once will make us efficient. I love your mining videos. Mining is a great thing. Hopefully we can do uh, more mining Gold Rush the game. It's time for some shouts. Drop your names down below and we'll shout you out. And it actually looks like I'll just kind of put them over here since some of those are there in the center. So I'll just kind of drop this down here. Yeah, this will work out a bit better. Shout out to Austin, Susan G, Nerf, Merica, Sherry, Tada, uh, Devin, Danielle, Sup Bricks, Evan, uh, shout to each and every one of you who don't have an account but watch these streams. I really do appreciate it. Once we are done uh, loading up these last two, we'll be heading back. Shout out to Kubota, Matthew, Jeff, Killer Squad, James, Hendrick, Cody. Shout out to each and every one of you. It's a ton of fun. Shout out to Super Duty Modding. He's been, like we're saying, partnered up with me. And we've been making some pretty cool mods. And we have some big things coming for this map. So hope you guys are excited for that. So as you guys can see, we got that unloaded. Shout out to Mason, Joseph, Joey. Shout out to Ramaron, uh... And I do apologize if I mispronounced your name. Like I was saying, guys, uh, next uh, shouts will be uh, 15 minutes into the stream. Can I get a fire department rotator? I actually was looking into that. I did see some pretty cool videos and clips of fire departments actually having uh, rotator tow trucks. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. I actually watched like a video on the history of tow trucks. I do recommend you go check out the history of tow trucks. Pretty cool. The evolution from uh, the Holmes record to the rotators, everything like that. It is a bit interesting. As you guys can see, we'll now strap that down. It's a good thing to strap down the load to prevent them from falling over. I think we'll probably just turn around here in the parking lot and we'll now be making our way back. Now, I think since this will take us quite a bit of time, I think we'll kind of use up as much as possible. No need to unload them when we could easily just kind of refill the cedar. And I'm not exactly sure if this cedar will do fertilizer. If it does, I mean, we are doing two for one, which is pretty cool. Get a Kubota. Like I was saying, I do have some very big things in the works, so stay tuned for them. We'll be taking this left over here, and I want to do more first person here for this farming series. Farming, I, I want it to be as realistic as possible, but I'm also doing this to, just because I will be doing more uh, farming in FS19 also. So it's going to be pretty cool doing a lot now, and then transitioning into farming. Kind of, that will be most likely the first thing we'll do there in FS19. As you guys can see, this trailer is struggling here on the road. There's just so much weight, and the truck is a little bit higher, which means that collision there in the back is kind of scraping the road but as you guys can see take a look at this guys this 04 Duramax really does look pretty cool it is squatting quite a bit but it's working out very nice which is awesome you guys can see two windmills over there and one on the other side and overall big shout to Duramax Nation Modder for releasing this looks like we are averaging just around a 49 to like 55 years for today's stream which is nice but now before we do anything with the seat or anything like that we'll be hopping into the drone and let's go take a look at what we'll be doing in the drone I think that adding the drone to the series will be a pretty cool thing and since there's so much weight on this I think we'll just kind of uh, disconnect it right about there that looks to be good we'll park this up no need for this today and we'll kind of just keep those pallets on the trailer until we need them well, now we kind of park this back up and let me know guys what should we add here for some equipment uh, or even maybe like an ATV. Let me know what we should add. Up next we'll be coming over here hopping here in the drone and let's get an aerial view of the fields we'll be doing. I think that this will be a great thing. i also show you guys from the sky what this map <laughs> looks like. So as you guys can see here's a farm right over here. So we'll be doing uh, this field. So one we'll be doing this longer field. We'll do this one over here and we'll be doing this one. So as you guys can see, that's one, two, three, four fields we'll be seeding. We'll do them all different crops also. So as you guys can see, no need to really fly. It's, this is really only used uh, today for kind of getting the height up since we could easily turn the camera view. But as you guys can see... 
stream is kind of blurry. Yes, it does look like the stream health is not the best. Looks like it is uh, struggling. I do apologize for that. I might kind of relaunch the stream. Not exactly sure, but it looks like... Uh, I'm not sure exactly, and I will be doing more live streaming very soon. I do have an announcement coming also, and I will be kind of featuring some Fortnite and uh, some cool things on that one. But as you guys can see, we'll kind of come over here. Looks like this door is now opening up. Now take a look at this, guys. We'll be using the 8245R. I actually did get a few comments telling me that this John Deere tractor over here isn't powerful enough for the plow. Now the main purpose of... Uh, you having it uh, towing the plow was to just kind of bring it over here to the farm but yes that does not have the power we'll be only probably using that for the bailing we'll be using this giant 8000 uh, series tractor for uh, everything else but as you guys can see let's kind of back up let's take a look and as you guys can see it does do fertilizer also which is a big bonus for us and I think first off we'll kind of do a circle around the field to kind of uh, do an outline if you would so call before we do it we'll be coming over here and we'll be refilling now I think we should kind of uh, take the straps off just in case when we do fill up the pallets do disappear I don't want them to kind of glitch and stay here so we're just gonna come over here might have been a bit easier to do it inside of the truck but you guys can see we are just about uh, 10 minutes into the stream just a little bit over actually now and now we are finally starting um, to do this as you guys can see, we unlocked all of those, which is nice. We'll now be coming over here. Let's kind of take a look at this. We should be able to refill it, and we might have to get a little bit closer. As you guys can see, it looks like we are able to refill it, which is nice. We'll kind of take a look at this. It looks like it's very, very touchy. Oh, so it looks like we actually have to be there on the other side, which is okay. I think we'll just kind of pull this forward just like this. No problem whatsoever. We'll be coming over here, and I mean, this might be a bit challenging. My day is going good so far. I hope yours is too. I really do appreciate all of the support here on the daily videos. It's a ton of fun tonight. Like I was saying, I want to do longer streams here for you guys. Looks like the stream health has increased, and I just have a ton of big things coming. I can't wait for them. I am going to ke be keeping them all a surprise but just very big things and I can't wait for them as you guys can see we are now backing out of this very nicely done and this uh pallet fork is very nice you could actually adjust it so this might work a bit better using this tractor with a pallet fork and I think first person will be even easier so let's just kind of do the first person we'll come over here let's try to do the fertilizer first now first person is going to be a bit tricky but you guys can see whoa this actually goes along with a power fork that is pretty cool so we'll try to do this first you guys can see picking up no problem whatsoever we do actually have wheel weights there to kind of help us out it looks like we might just have to unload them kind of bring them right over here let's kind of take a look at this and we should be able to refill as you guys can see we are able to which is nice and it looks like only gas there so this is a bit of an interesting thing uh, it's not really letting us fill up the cedar so uh, let's kind of give this one last try As you guys can see, let me know guys, how do we fill this up? I have been farming before, but this is interesting. For the first time, it's not exactly letting us put them in, and especially since this is a mod, I'm not sure if that has anything to do with that. We'll definitely give it a try over here. And there we go, we could refill the cellar, which is nice, and it looks like we are doing that, which is great. I really do want this to work so we could do it, and if we can't fertilizer, that's okay, because we have a John Deere fertilizer in our uh, shop over there, the garage. So it looks like we have kind of fixed this out. As you guys can see, it looks like we were able to do one thing of seed, which I think for right now is going to be good. So let's kind of just go over here. Let's kind of select the seed. Let's probably do, actually, I think we'll probably do, let's take a look. We'll just do wheat for now. We do actually want to fold that back up. Let's take a look at this. 
we want to come over here I'm not sure exactly why that is unfolded and let's kind of give this one let's try it there we go guys you guys can see kind of folding that back up which is nice and now we'll just kind of head out now we don't have enough seed I don't think and we are running into that problem but I want to get seeding it that's the main goal of today so let's kind of start out with the one closest to us which is right over here as you guys can see we have arrived here at the field it's a pretty big field and my day is going good so far As you guys can see, we are unfolding the cedar, and in the previous uh, farm, we did actually have a much larger cedar, but I thought that this would be a bit more realistic. We'll lower the cedar down, and we'll get this turned on, and we'll get going. As you guys can see, we are seeding here for the first time here on the Square Farms map, which is pretty cool. And yes, I will be looking into that. I actually thought that that could have been the problem, not having the correct fertilizer, which is okay. And I think we'll probably actually just use the other one, but it looks like we just will not have enough fertilizer, which, I mean, isn't going to be the best thing, and probably not enough seed to do all of these. So we'll definitely have to go get more throughout today's stream. But you guys can see first time ever planting farming here on this map, which is exciting. And just take a look at this. Now, a few big things about this map is I want to tell you guys is that for around all of these farm fields there will be no trees just because you guys can see giant cedars like this it would be pretty much impossible to turn around and to move so you guys can see like here to the road from the field to the road you guys won't be seeing trees it might make the map look a bit empty but it's going to be a, a lot easier and trust me guys it's going to be a lot a lot easier to turn around or even giant harvester heads overall it will be pretty nice as you guys can see we are now farming I actually think we'll probably just set a cruise here yes i will be doing a video building a golf course stay tuned for that but it's time for some shouts so drop your names down below shout out to cole west hint nerf the new zealand gamer joseph I can build it, Braden, Blake, Colin, Moses. Shout out to each and every one of you supporting these weekly live streams and all of the daily videos. It's a ton of fun, and I really do appreciate all of the support. Shout out to Jame, Jackson, Cole. Shout out to each and every one of you. I actually really do like the size of this uh, cedar. I believe it's a 12-meter cedar, which is pretty cool. And shout out to James. Joseph, shout out to all of you guys. But this John Deere looks pretty cool, and even this field, it, it doesn't look big, but it is. So I mean, that's one of the things is I wanted to have good sized fields, and actually, I believe that we could probably hire a worker. Take a look at that, guys. We could hire the worker, and actually, will he do the job? Let's take a look, and take a look at that, guys. Looks like he's. Oh, he's hired to do the fertilizing. So that's kind of why uh, sometimes these cedars aren't the best. Well, actually. I have to lower this back down. Shout out to Subrix, Joseph. Shout out to each and every one of you. I really do appreciate all of the continued support here. Like I was saying, guys, we'll be doing just around a 30 minute stream today. And just because the uh, machine can't take the correct fertilizer which is probably a problem on our part we didn't buy the correct one uh we can't really hire the worker which is okay we really want to do a lot of this farming here and kind of bring farming back to the channel i haven't featured it much before and i do plan on bringing it back just because farming is a great thing and i really do enjoy doing it as you guys can see shout out to each and every one of you can you do cops and robbers i have done it in the past especially with this brand new police station might yes i most likely we'll be doing a cops and robbers here on this map once it's released to all of you guys But as you guys can see, we do have twin wheels here on this tractor, which is pretty cool. This 800 series tractor is very nice. And let me know, guys, should I open up a server for all of you guys to join? Let me know. 
and let me know if we should kind of do a farming server or landscaping I think that landscaping would be pretty cool but sometimes it is a bit tricky Do a multiplayer lawn care server. That should be a pretty cool thing. And let me know, guys, should I get a Discord server? Yes, I will not have enough, but we can easily go back over there and get some more. Now, we can't really use that fertilizer, so we might have to go get a bit more. But like I was saying, guys, we'll be live streaming for just around 20 more. Uh, we'll probably live stream for actually 10 more minutes. As you guys can see, it looks like we'll only be able to do this field today, which is okay. I mean, these are some pretty big fields. Can't wait to do it, but I really do like having the fields rectangle or squares. It's just a bit easier overall not having the turns. And if you do want to hire a worker, it is uh, possible, which is nice. As you guys can see, very nice. And I mean, this thing is overall doing a very good job today. And you guys can see the tractor isn't getting that dirty. So I think before we do call it a day, depending on it, uh, most likely we won't actually be able to oh looks like we'll have to kind of go head back over to the farm and then we got to fill this up with seed but as you guys can see one power doesn't do that bad probably does like a third of this field which is nice As you guys can see, this will be it here. We have to go get more seed. I don't really want to start the pass and have to kind of end it. You guys can see overall, very nicely done here, seeding, which is nice. We definitely do want to fold this back up. Very nice, but like I was saying, guys, first time ever here farming on the Square Farms map, which is pretty cool. We'll activate beacon lights, turn signals, everything like that, and we'll be making our way back. And let me know, guys, should I do more GTA videos? I think GTA, you guys showed a ton of support on it, and I think I will be doing that. And I did get a few comments asking me to uh, kind of put together country roads, and I'm not exactly sure if I want to do that. I just really do enjoy this. Big shout goes to TNF Modding for stopping by. Shout to Super Bricks, Zan, uh, Nate, Andrew, the New Zealand gamer. Shout out to each and every one of you. As you guys can see, we are back over here. We'll try to get a little bit of seed. Not sure if this will work. You guys can see we are struggling here just to kind of uh, turn. And, whoa, take a look at that, but are we able to get more seed let's kind of take a look at this i actually will let's kind of just move this over here that looks to be good and next up we'll come over here we'll just kind of unload these fertilizer pallets right over here this should be no problem putting them over here on the grass as you guys can see we got that one unloaded there which is nice and i really do like this pallet fork looks pretty cool now let's see does it stay level yes it does that is very nice of this so let's kind of see if we can load both of these on and get back to seeding like i was saying pretty realistic thing to do and yes guys i will be looking into a discord server i think that will be pretty cool but let's kind of see can we use up this pal not exactly sure why this isn't exactly working but we'll definitely give it a try you guys can see that we got this right over here this might be a bit easier to fill up this way and let's take a look so as you guys can see no refill trigger yet here which is a bit interesting like we're saying not exactly sure like we are right here and it's not refilling
As you guys can see, we actually did knock that there on the ground there, which is not the best. Let's kind of try to turn around here and let me know, guys, have you had this problem here? This is my first time using the cedar, and I'm not sure exactly why. You guys can see taking the turn a little too sharp. And as you guys can see, we are pretty much just kind of driving right around the pallet, and it's not working. We'll definitely give this one last try here before we do call it a, like I was saying guys, a bit of a problem. have never really had this problem of where it won't let us kind of fill up on seed. Let's kind of take a look. You guys can see that we are pretty much right here and it's not picking it up, which means that we'll have to call it a day until we kind of figure out this problem. Hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by and stay tuned for many more farming streams and for many more farming simulator 17 videos. Have a great day and subscribe for more.